Honey opens more doors than vinegar, but honey beer gets you invited over, guys. I'm Haston. I believe. Welcome back to Tap Out, where we're reviewing the Orange Blossom Pilsner from Orange Blossom Brewing Company today. Now, let me tell you a little bit about what this beer is, okay? Brewed with real orange blossom honey. There are 2.3 teaspoons of pure orange blossom honey in every can of OBP. But don't go thinking you're getting a mouthful of sweetness sweet. The fermentation process gives it a crisp, refreshing flavor. So crack open a cold when the bees need to work. 5.5% alcohol. Try it out. So this is in, uh, Lee, did you cover the alcohol percentage on this yep, bad boy? it's 5.5% in uh, Lakeland, Florida. Lakeland, Florida. Let's do it. Smells like bees butt. Bees butt, there you go. Lee loves sniffing them bees. Sometimes it gets them a swole lip, but you know, you love what you like. You see who can pour the beer. Absolutely, I gotta, you know, this teaches me I'm an impatient person, and, and pouring my beer like this is just a patience exercise. So, but you're not gonna have to be patient with us. Uh, now, my beer looks more cinematic than yours, though. I mean, this is literally commercial grade. Yeah, yours commercial grade, mine's drink grade. <laughs> All right, hey, well, let's get into it. Cheers, Lee. Cheers. <laughs> Lee, I usually give my opinion first. I want you to go first. My opinion isn't going to sway, but I think we should hear from Lee first on this. I'm going to try it again. All right. I feel like I'm... This is my opinion. All right. Looks like honey, don't it? It feels like I'm drinking honey-flavored water or something. Yeah. So, based on what you just said, I'll tell I'll tell you what I think. I mean, it, it is, is a pilsner. It's not bad mimosa, but it's not supposed to be bad mimosa. Okay, guys. Really? I like it. I really do. I don't taste any orange. There's no orange in this. No, there's no orange. I mean, it's you can taste the sweetness. Um, I think sometimes these beer companies, and I understand why they do it. They name things grapefruit. They name it orange. They name it whatever. Citrus, citrus, citrus. Because, you know, some beers just taste citrusy. But when you drink a lot of beers, you kind of forget about that little... I guess that comes with the hops. Is that right, Lee? The grapefruit kind of... <laughs> Yeah, a lot, of, a lot of them. Yeah, I don't taste that orange in here, okay? No, I don't you either. Know, all I taste is honey. Honey and beer. And honey and beer is a good combination. Now, I mean, who's to say if you put a slice of orange in here, I mean, it may taste good. Nah, it might be damn good. I mean, I ain't, I'm not I'm not throwing it down on the floor as terrible. I mean, it's just... Oh, you're not liking it? It's just a different taste of... Yeah. I mean, it's it's a Pilsner beer, but it's, I don't know, I've drank a lot of Pilsner beers, and it's kind of... He has, he has, believe him. <laughs> he drank a lot of them, guys, okay? I was in the army in Germany, so that goes to... Mm. Um, He's also around here. I'm around here now. <laughs> and I go everywhere else. <laughs> yep. But, uh... <laughs> it, there you go. I believe I could throw an orange in it, and... It, it, it look, I'm, good. I'm loving it. I think it's already good as is. The orange, I'm with Lee, could make it better. Um, it sounds like we have a different of opinion on this one, but I genuinely like this. You know, I'm like I'm willing to go a nine out of ten on this one on our, on our little review scale. With the buzz bias, we're at a four on the buzz bias. We batch record these videos. This is our fifth beer of the day. Started sober on one, so. Four point buzz buys, give or take a few. I'm loving it. I think it's it really a, good. I'd give it a six, but oh man, it, it's yeah. Buying a slice of orange in it, it might it might jump up. It would not. It would. It would. I think a slice of orange would take me to a ten. Um, with that crisp honey taste. Yeah. In it, but, uh, you know that you the, may like. Exactly, you may like it like me, or you may hate it like Lee, and you know that is kind of the point of our little system here yeah um it's good that, to have different taste everybody has a different palate um 
You know, my brother-in-law can bite a raw onion, and my wife <laughs> won't touch an onion. There you go. You know, that's what that's just how the cookie crumbles sometimes. Yeah. So, I love this. I think this is a good idea. I haven't really had a honey flavored beer. Have you had a honey flavored beer before, Lee? No, I have not. Nine no. and a six. Now, what's the mean between nine and six? Seven and a half. Is that right? No. Yeah. Tastes like sweet, better life. So we got a seven and a half with a four point on the buzz by it. Yeah. So give or take four on a seven and a half. If I did my math wrong, call me out. I don't care. Check out the Orange Blossom Pilsner if you like honey based things. If you like Jack Daniels honey, you will love this, I think. What do you think? I believe a shot of Jack Daniel honey would be good in this thing. <laughs> Add it to it. Tear it up, throw <laughs> it down. You know, know what I mean? Build it up, tear it down, throw it up. <laughs> Whatever. That's right. So. Let us know what you think in the comments. Leave a like. Subscribe if you can. Uh, appreciate you. Y'all have a good evening.